Ruth, we know that people with um, IDD have a higher risk of severe illness or even death from COVID. Why is this and what additional considerations are, are needed from DSPs because of this? Yeah, some persons with disabilities may be more likely to get infected or if infected have severe illness because of underlying health conditions, uh, because of the increased risk of exposure, such as living in congregate settings or having systemic and uh, health and social inequities. We really are seeing huge health disparities with COVID. Some persons may have more exposure because they have difficulty with distancing. They have challenges with following the prevention guidance, like uh, for example, wearing masks or washing hands frequently. Some people may not be able to communicate their symptoms or that they're ill. We do know that persons with Down syndrome uh, or obesity are more likely to have severe illness. And adults with disabilities are three times more likely than adults without disabilities to have heart disease, diabetes, cancer, or stroke, all of which raise your risk for severe COVID if they're infected. And so it's, it is really important. We said this a number of times, but important to understand the symptoms of COVID and to educate the people you are supporting and the families of the people that you're supporting about COVID and how to prevent it. And to, again, have the plan for when and how to contact their healthcare provider. Thank you. 